converted to coal and this process is known as carbonization yes yes ma'am so i've already written this down so should i should i write it again no 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 you no, need to write it again just mention question number 3 the notes done in notes yeah Yes, ma'am. So, question number four is fill in the blanks. Um, yeah, this after this, we will do this. Yes, ma'am. So, fossil fuels are uh, coal, mm -hmm. uh, pet mm -hmm. are uh, are coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Yes. So, you'll just uh, write down uh, the answers. Okay, ma'am. I'll write in the text. Yes, yes. मैम तो सेकेंड मैं कार्बनाइजेशन यस Mm, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. Sorry, fractional distillation. Yeah, it's petroleum, not coal. It's refining. So what? No, ma'am. Like, ah. it's fractional distillation, right? Ah, it's the process of separation from different constitution. It's refining. Okay. Just check it. The uh, fractional distillation is basically how you are going to make the use. Of petroleum, for example, I yes, want to convert petroleum to the fuel. Yes. Yes, it's fine. Uh, least polluting fuel for vehicles. Ma'am, CNG. No way. Yes. yes, CNG. Yes, yes. Least polluting. Nah, it's a gas, so it don't pollute much. And in bracket, you'll write the answer as well. CNG oh, does yes. not produce smoke on burning. ओके मैम डन अमाम द क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 द फर्स्ट वन इज फॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 यस मैम सर we are doing question number 7 which one you are doing ma'am same as four ma'am uh, in, in 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 your in your ppt the question number 7 is hmm. but in your book it's for it's but how can be this possible ma'am show question 5 yeah the process of separation yes ma'am wait no go up go up mm -hmm. Okay, I think in your NCERT book, it's like mentioned uh, the fill in the blanks are part of one question. Yes, ma'am. No. Okay, that's why. Okay, now for uh, yeah, this one true and false. Fossil fuels can be made in laboratory. True or false? False. Yes. Why? Oh yeah, we have to write this. Huh? Yes. Fossil fuels are produced uh, due to high pressure and temperature of dead. Animals and plants. The process that takes place long time. It happens over millions years. Therefore, it are not. They are not produced in laboratory. Okay. Let's just complete all this. Then you will write. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, next is CNG is more polluting fuel than petroleum. No, ma'am. It's false. No. Um, because, because CNG is eco friendly and it does not produce any smoke. Right. Yes, next, coke is almost pure form of carbon. Yeah. True, ma'am. It is a mineral. And it is the uh, uh, it is tough and uh, porous black color substance. It is obtained from the sun. Ma'am, but that is property. We are not we are not enhancing the statement. Yeah, it's because see uh, now you are first of all you are telling yes, coke is basically the pure form of carbon, right? And then you are telling how coke looks like. Okay. 
Okay. Clear? And now, yes, yes, yes. after this, they have written it as well. It is obtained by strongly heating the coal in the absence of air at high temperature. So, they, are, they have also mentioned that how from carbon you are going to produce coal. Clear? Yes. Next, ma coal tar is a... Yes. Coal tar is a mixture of various substances. Yes, ma'am. Coal tar is a mixture of 200 substances and... Um, Mainly are second. carbon, oh. hydrogen and oxygen. Kerosene is not a fossil fuel, um, uh, true, right? Kerosene is not a fossil fuel. Fossil fuels, uh, kerosene is a fossil fuel, right? It is, it is like when you are going to convert petroleum, then you are, then you get kerosene. So it is a part of oil itself, right? Okay. Kerosene, so yes. Mm, then, okay. Let's just do true and false first, and after that. Mama, let's
Mom, I've written down. So let's just start with next question. It is explain why fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources, right? So fossil fuels require millions of air to form from the dead plants and animals that get buried deep inside the earth. Okay, they require high temperature and pressure for their formation. These condition cannot be provided in the laboratory, right? That's why it, uh, they are taking so much time to formation for formation. Further, their rate of formation is very slow in comparison to rate of consumption, right? so they will be will get exhausted in the near future due to the current rate of consumption so the rate we are the rate at which we are using the fossil fuels if we will continue with this rate then uh, the day is not far that where will we like we won't be getting any fossil fuels right because the process is slow but the consumption rate is really high so it will lead to the exhaustive exhaustion yeah. of fossil fuels okay ma'am are ready sir yes okay
Mom, I've written it down. Okay, sir. Now, next, describe the characteristics and uses of folk. Okay, so folk is hard in nature. Folk is. Mom, but I've already nature. done this, so. Yeah, yeah, you have done now. Uses as well, right? Uses as well, you have done, right, sir? Sir, am I audible? Yeah, Reva. You are on mute. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, but my, but ma'am, the properties which which you made me write hmm. are different. You wrote, no, oh, hmm. it is a solid. It hmm. is tough, porous, and black. Yeah, it is the same thing. Form of coal. See what they have done. Tough means hard, porous, black. That's it. And uses, I think they are same. Right? It, is, it is used in the extraction of metals. It is used in the process of manufacturing steel. Yes, it's okay. same, right? And now this is Mom, the of market. Oh. Answer second. after this you will write this process of formation of petroleum okay the e in the paragraph petroleum is formed from there right after that Mom, but i already i already i already written this okay then you will be doing this okay, formation of petrol and mom what explain the process of formation of petroleum yes you have done this mom, Luna, but, uh, mom, uh, yeah you did this formation of you did in point Yes, ma'am. First, second, third, right? Yes, ma'am. So no need to write it. Just write it down that you have done. Ma'am, so in exam hall, if if they tell me to uh, explain the promise, then I have to write this paragraph. No, no, no. You have written na first, second, third. Yes, Three points, I think. So you are going to write it. Uh, basically, that is one the one explaining points that first, this, then second, this. Here they have just made it in paragraph. Okay, ma'am. Right. So whatever suits you. If you want to write this down, you can write it down. Both are same thing, but the the only difference is language and the explanation. Okay, ma'am. Question Uh, you are writing this down, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just a minute. I'm just done.
Yes, ma'am. I would just ma'am. Okay, sir. Now see. Right. The following table shows the total power shortage in India from nineteen ninety one to nineteen ninety seven. So the data in the form of graph. You know how to draw the graph? No. Yes. Um. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh yes. Uh, plot a uh, shortage percentage for the air on x-axis, right? Uh, on y-axis and the air on x-axis. Okay. So that means you are going to draw your graph like this. So here you will yes, plot so the x-axis. Yes. Will yeah. the the years and the percentage will be here. Okay. So for nineteen ninety one, you have to make. Uh, seven point nine, like this. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Just draw it. You have to make a graph. Make the points, like mark the points over here, and after that you'll join the points. Okay. Seven point four.
Yes, ma'am, I made it. Uh, ma'am. So, I... Done? Yes, ma'am, I made that. Okay. So, it looked like this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I hope you wrote it like this hair shortage, x axis, y axis, and the air oh, here. Wait, after that, I, 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 wrote to I need to write short shortage percentage. Hmm. How will I get to know that this is air or this is air? Mom, you hmm. come on. <laughs> I'm illiterate. Now, your examiner is always no, an illiterate no. person. So, how would I get to know these are airs? Maybe these are numbers for me. Yes, definitely. Right. And what about this number? Maybe I'll consider that these are your marks. Are... Right. So you need to tell me, ma'am, this is shortage percentage. Ma'am, you are in a very bad situation. Really? You need to, imp like, you have to help. You have to, you know, help me to improve. Yes, ma'am. So our chapter is finished. Yes. Now, see. Uh, so what you will, uh, first of all, uh, you did this. And from this, you will write the observation. But you are fine, right? Just write the observation in three and four lines. After looking at the graph, what you are finding? Like what you, like what you can observe? Mom, sir, mom, sir it is, mom, it is there in the question. You have to write the observation. No, basically they have written the observation. So you just need to make it. But I want to know what are your observation, your thinking capacity. Okay, ma'am. Um, so it, it's four and five page four four and five lines okay ma'am and then you'll read it out solution Mom, I just have wrote four, four and a half lines. Okay, tell me. Amma? Yes, yes, tell me. Um, so, the observation from this graph is that the shortage of power in India has been increasing and we should take this as a learning and take some steps, uh, steps towards it. Yes, very good. So you can uh, you can see that from 19 you have to mention the because you are representing the graph so you but you have to mention that from yeah. as we can see the ratio of shortage of uh, you know for like this shortage of what power right huh? shortage of power is increasing from 1991 like as we can see in 1991 the shortage was 7.9 1992 it came down right a little bit but again 1993 it went up uh, between 1993 to 1995, it came down. But from 1995 onwards, it 
keeps on increasing at a very high rate right it's very okay. high right so this is your observation it's not increasing it's increasing decreasing increasing decreasing and from 1995 onwards to 1997 we can see there is an increase there is no decrease so that means we need to make particular laws so that we can conserve the you know uh, energy and all that so that we can use this energy for longer period of time we can sustain it for longer period of time clear okay ma'am so sure i have to cut down the first paragraph no don't cut it just add the line after your paragraph just mention okay, the line see. Yes, ma'am. I've written it down. Okay. Okay. So now we are done with this chapter. So tomorrow I will take your test. So you want me to take your test tomorrow or day after tomorrow? Or on Sunday? Oh, uh, so tomorrow is Thursday, na? Do so you want to want me to take yes, your tomorrow? Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow is Friday. Saturday. So tomorrow is an off. Why, ma'am? Friday. Mom, but isn't today okay? Thursday, so, na today. This one Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So, do you want to shift your classes to uh, Friday, like is like that? Or do you want an off on Sunday? Is it? Hmm, actually, I'm fine because it's only one hour. If it was two or three hours, I would have told. Yeah, because that. you were absent on Sunday, na? In India, most of the things like Sunday is a weekend in India, right? Wait, I was absent on Sunday. Yeah, you were absent on Sunday. Yeah, 